What was that noise? Oh my gosh! Oh my. Are you okay? This place is not safe here anymore. Go! Oh my head. Come on, wake up already, PG Joe Phelps. We Ow. need to get out of here. Ow, my head. What's going on? No. Take that off right now. That is cursed. Oh, it looks like my face has been deformed. I'll be right back. Are you happy now? You gotta be kidding me. Ugh, now what? I can literally see your rig outside the door. Yeah, that's because you're lazy at off-screen animating. J just get rid of the rig. Fine. PG Joe Phones, did you hear that? Yeah, I heard a loud boom sound. It sounded like a rocket missile. <sighs> you were not supposed to do that yet. You didn't ask. Good point. So, should we take the stairs? No! I got hit by a missile at that point! I'm not going out there again! Let's use the elevator instead. But isn't that dangerous? Kevin McLeod music. Kevin McLeod music. Okay, PG Joe Holmes. Take these. Thank you. I'll go get the rest. Got it. Thanks for rescuing me. Now I just need my blowtorch to throw move. What? PG Joe Phelps, I owe you a cookie sometime. Yeah, later. Don't move. What? I don't care. I just don't care anymore. So this is what's been causing all this ruckus. Oh wow, look at me. I'm such a weak missile. Were you messing around? I know I was! Okay guys, let's not argue. We are very close to escaping. All I need is my blowtorch. <gasps> oh shoot, I forgot to grab it! Who knows? I mean, you can go back upstairs and get it, right? No, I am not going back up there again! Exactly. Then, what are we gonna do now? Maybe the people watching should like and subscribe and see what's going to happen- Okay, that's a stupid joke. No, that's not funny. Don't ever say that again. Alright, I had enough of this. Oh no. Rise and shine! Looks like we managed to get you out of bed. Is there a car? I do not want another car in my face again. That's a nice outfit you got there. Where are you supposed to be now? A pillow willow? Wait, pillow oh, willow? Get it, get it. Oh, oh, I get it. Shut up. Just shut up. I've been told that some of you caused a stir at one of our outposts. How could you do this to us, Willow? You're destroying the home of many innocent people! And you really think you couldn't do the same? How cute. The refinery was the home of many people, Pony. You, the Iron Man guy, and that zebra have caused many relocations. We couldn't afford to feed them all in one place. Don't make me bring that car. And I'll make sure you won't. By the way, how can you manage to drive at such a young age? What are you, grown-up midget? Okay, now you've gone too far, you stuffed animal! How about I tear your pillows into pieces? How's that? Oh, you wanna fight is what you're saying. I have a gun that can yeet you out of existence! Alright, alright, break it up, please! Continue the dialogue! And you know what? I will! Take them with us. We'll keep them all in one place where we can control what they do. You can't do this to us! We haven't done anything! And we'll make sure it stays that way. Ah, oh, screw it. Whoa! <laughs> Did you really think you could get away with it this time? I didn't think so. You'll be staying there until you either cooperate or wear out. I'll be looking forward to talking to you soon. And kid, this is karma for running me over. No! You're gonna pay for this, Willow! When I get out of the cell, it won't be pretty! Yeah, right. Pony, we owe you an apology. W what for? We shouldn't have met with the group. You were right to be suspicious about it. We were wrong. We're sorry. I forgive you. Now, we just need to get out of here somehow. Guys, I got it! Pony, do you remember the time that I told you a story of how I got the teleport trap? Y yeah, what is it? So. I need one of you guys to knock me out. That way I can go back to my nightmare and recollect another trap. George, that sounds like a great idea. But how would that even work? I don't know, it just popped up in my head all of a sudden.